So recently I've wrote an article on how to etch PCBs using hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide. This article was also featured on Hackaday and received quite a bit of polarizing responses. While some people confirmed that they had great results using this method, others warned of possible dangers involved. All possible hazards, including the development of corrosive gases, including chlorine, a hard to control process due to fast etching times and over etching, have effectively been mitigated by the use of highly dilute solutions. Nonetheless, personal protective equipment should be worn at all times, as demonstrated by my research assistant here. To prepare the etchant, one part of a 12% hydrogen peroxide solution and nine parts of a 8% hydrochloric acid solution are combined. In this example, 15 milliliters of the 12% hydrogen peroxide and 135 milliliters of 8% hydrochloric acid are mixed to yield a total of 150 milliliters of our ready to use etchant. A 50 by 50 millimeter PCB with positive photoresist was then lowered into the etchant and a stopwatch was set to monitor the progress of the etching. The expected etching time for the PCB depends a lot on the features present. For simple PCBs it can be as low as 20 minutes. For more involved PCBs with fine pitch SMD footprints it can be as long as one hour. Additionally the total etching time depends a lot on the temperature of the etchant. Something to consider when it's stored in a non-temperature controlled environment. After the etching process is completed the remaining photoresist is stripped off by wiping the PCB with a bit of acetone. The PCB shown on the left hand side took about one hour in the etchant solution described, while the one on the right barely needed 30 minutes. Generally it was noted that if a copper pour was completely omitted, or the distance between copper pour and the pads was kept as large as possible, etching times were minimized.